So I have numbers and I have positions, no names. That's how far behind I am here. That one's old for a ball. So I believe a 2-1 count here to Skillet. He is the catcher for the Creek Cardinals, 3-3 three and three on the year, full count. See if this is one of our good umpires that holds up the count. I said in the strike, so now it's a full count. Three and two. He still didn't hold up the count. Morrison on the mound. Argo behind the plate and walks him. So Garrett Skillet reaches on a walk, the first batter of this game for the Creek Cardinals. We're in Hickman and uh Six and three, Norris Titans. They lost last night to the second-ranked Elkhorn Antlers. I believe the final, well, one thing I saw said nine to one. The other one I saw said nine to five. So I'm not real sure. Those were on the NSAA site. That one's outside for a ball. Zach Argo behind the plate here for this game for the Titans. Carter Kent, the... First baseman, left-handed hitter. That one's Loeb. They call it a strike. So I believe a one-and-one one count here. Skillet at first. Morrison on the mound. Gets the bunt down there, gets it to uh, Morrison. Morrison fires over to first. Over there to Terrell Rose for the out. The sacrifice does move the uh, runner in a scoring position. And now Alec McGinnis to the plate, playing shortstop here. So one out now, top of the first, no score, runner at second. His skillet. McGinnis to the plate here for the Crete Cardinals. Kind of ironically, Crete is wearing blue. Titans in all white. That one, uh, Gets past catch all the way to the fence, and so Skillet gets to third now. So runner at third with no outs. Check that one out here in the top of the first. Yeah, I have. I don't have my fielders set up in my book. Uh, just not prepared at all for this. Outside to McGinnis. He still didn't hold up the count. Bounced uh, in front of Argo, but he got up and uh, kept it in front of him. He's... I think he appealed to the umpire out there at second to see if he swung, and I think he said he did. So he's shown a two and one count to McGinnis. Low and inside. So Garrett Skillet is at uh, first base. Check that third base for the Creek Cardinals, one out. And walked uh, McGinnis now. So runners at first and third with one out. And coming to the plate now is uh, Gross Rohde. Coach uh, Collison going out to talk to Morrison there. Titans 6-3 and three lost uh, last night to Elkhorn. Thursday, a, a long road trip to Falls City. Um, as of right now, I will be able to do that game. I'm planning on doing it, and uh, I'm not sure the start time on that, but you can check the school website or check my website, and we'll get that to you. So now runners at first and third for Crete. No score, one out, top of the first. This is... Uh, Zane gross Rody listed here as the left fielder for the Cardinals. 
That one's in there for a strike. Jade Nostrander on deck for Car- for the Cardinals. Morrison steps off. Both base runners via the walk. Uh, Skillet advanced to third on a sacrifice uh, by Carter Kent and then McGinnis walked. So runner is at, oh, then the skillet went to third on the wild pitch. Throw over to first, back in time. Morrison on the mound, Ergo behind the plate, that one's low. The uh, pitcher's mound looks kind of gummy. I saw all the players when they got to the field. They were all carrying bags of kitty litter. In fact, the only place they put it was out there on the pitcher's mound. Inside and headed down there to second is Alec McGinnis. So now runners at second and third. For the Cardinals, one out top of the first, no score. Buchanan Field here in Hickman. High fly ball out to left field. Making the catch and firing home. Nice throw. But uh, just up line a little bit. So the run does come in. It was a great throw out there. I'm not sure who's playing out and left. Mason, Mason Burnley, Mason Burnley. So he lined up on it and tried to uh, get the throw in. He did get the throw in, just up line, just a little bit. But two run score here for Crete. It's so now it's uh, check that just one score. Skillet comes in, and they hold McGinnis at third. So now two outs and Ostrander to the plate. And on deck here is Kyle Bauer. Shot right back to the pitcher, Morrison. Underhands it over. So after all of that, just one run across for Crete. And so after a half an inning, it's one to nothing Crete over Norris on CapitalSportsOnline.com. First State Bank Nebraska has provided a century of service to our communities and customers and has been recognized by the Small Business Administration as Nebraska's 2012 Rural Lender of the Year. First State Bank Nebraska takes pride in getting to know you on a first-name basis. As a bank, First State Bank Nebraska strives to provide the latest banking technology while delivering exceptional customer service. We are proud of our steady growth, including the expansion of our newest loan production office in Beatrice. First State Bank Nebraska Member FTIC, Equal Housing Lender. Creed Cardinals got uh, two base runners on and got uh, the second one to third. A couple of walks, uh, a wild pitch, and then a sacrifice, two sacrifices. Uh, but after the catch out in left field by Mason Burnley, fired at home. Not in time to make the out at home, but did strand that runner at third. And then the very next batter, just come back to the pitcher, Morrison, and he, with the easy throw out. So just one run out of all of that for the Creek Cardinals. Coming up now here for the... Uh, Norris Titans in the bottom of the first. Kind of a revamped lineup here for the Titans. Austin Schultz is going to lead it off. He's playing shortstop. 
Mason Burnley will bat second. He's playing in left field. And Spencer Johnson, playing center field today, will bat third. Check that. Terrell Rose playing first will bat third. Spencer Johnson will bat fourth. So here we go. First pitch to Schultz is low for a ball. Pretty good uh, recovery for the Titans after the uh, two walks and a wild pitch in the dirt. So 2-0 and oh now to Schultz. Got some stats here. I don't know if I'll be able to get them to him. That one's up high. So 3-0 count now to Austin Schultz. Again, he's playing shortstop. And that one's outside. Walks him on four. So the Titans have their first base runner aboard. And now coming to the plate is Mason Burnley for the Titans. Schultz is at first. Reaches on a walk, as did the leadoff batter for the Creek Cardinals. Mason Burnley, 296 on the season. Calls quick timeout. On the mound here, I had to run down and talk to Coach Collison, did uh, Burnley. Spencer Steinoff, I believe. Yeah, Spencer Steinoff on the mound for the Cardinals. Just a sophomore. One to nothing Creek. We're down the bottom of the first runner at first for the Titans. And he's on the run and firing down there. Nice throw, but a good slide. Great throw behind the plate there. But stealing the base was Schultz. So now runner in scoring position for the Titans here with uh, no outs in the bottom of the first. Creek got uh, two walks and a couple wild pitches, uh, but could get just one run out of that. Inside for a ball. So Austin Schultz out at second base. You know, we'll spin around backwards and fake to second. We Actually, we saw that. I saw it anyway here uh, a couple of games ago. They actually did pick off a runner with that play. Rarely see that happen. I fly ball in the infield and uh, off his glove out there. You had two players uh, talking and uh, two Crete players talking. And uh, it probably should have been Alex McGinnis's ball there at uh, shortstop. But Kyle Bauer tried to make it, then it ticked off his glove. So now runners at first and second for the Titans and no outs. And a Terrell Rose to the plate, the left-hander for the Titans. Catches the inside corner first strike to Terrell. So, so here's where the Titans got a chance. They need to make this hurt after uh, just an easy fly ball, infield fly ball, and uh, – couldn't get it. That one's outside to Rose, one and one. Again, I uh, don't have the stuff I need for my phone, so I don't know how long the internet connection is going to last. High and outside, two and one. But I am recording this game on a, on a separate recorder, and we'll have that for you. Low and outside. Should be I. I have three and one, but that umpire doesn't show us. And it was because they walked Rose. So now the uh, Titans, their first three base, their first three batters are aboard without a hit. There was a walk uh, or two walks and an error. And so now base is loaded here for Spencer Johnson for the Titans. Chance to uh, hit a little green out there will uh, easily plate two runners. Grant Albers on deck 
for the Titans. Grant playing third base today. So Spencer Steinoff on the mound, and that one, a uh, good scoop behind the plate there by uh, Garrett Skillet. Uh, it was low pitch. He blocked, and it bounced about halfway back out to the pitcher. So it's a 1-0 count now to Johnson. Bases loaded, no outs. That one's high, 2-0, and now the uh, Creek coach comes out. The roster that I printed off from uh, Max Preps um, for Creed only lists 13 players. Jeremy Freeze out there talking to his pitcher. Just a sophomore out there, Spencer Steinov. It doesn't list. The only other pitcher somewhat listed is... Uh, Alex McGinnis, but I don't know what his what he's been doing game wise here in the last over the weekend or anything. So here we go. Allen catches the inside corner for a strike to Spencer. Check that. Yeah, Spencer Johnson. Bases loaded, no outs. There's a shot out to left field. That's going to drop. You're going to get two runs in. Nice scoop out there. Now fired home. Pretty good throw, but he's in safely. And coming around for a double there was uh, Johnson drives in two. Nice hit there. Uh, Rose gets over to third, and uh, Schultz and Burnley score. So two to nothing, runners at second, third, still no outs here for the Titans, bottom of the first. Grant Albers at the plate now, and he will be followed by Colton Meyer. So a little number goes foul down the left side. There's another hit down to third. He keeps it in front of him, fires over to first. Nice play. Had to bounce it over there, but did get the out. And on the play down there for the uh, Cardinals was Kyle Bauer. So Albers uh, line, or grounds out to third, just the first out of the inning. And now at the plate, Colton Meyer for the Norris Titans. Two to one, bottom of the first. Just one out for the Titans. There's a hit out towards center. It's going to hit the gap. No, nice catch out there, though, by the Cardinals. Tagging and scoring here is uh, going to be Terrell Rose. So three runs across and now two outs for the Titans. Johnson stays at second. So now three to nothing. Check that three to one. Garrison Gustin to the plate for the Titans. That one's in there for a strike. Garrison playing second base today. Also in there for a strike. So 0 and 2 count now. Three to one, Norris, bottom of the first. Outside, one and two count. Should Garrison reach, it will be Will Reitz to the plate, the DH for this game. Outside, two and two. Good eye there by Garrison Gusson. That must have been a little outside because he's been calling that a strike as far as the height of it. There's a hit to second. Nice play out there. 
and just barely getting him. Kind of lazy throw over there to first base. But Garrison does ground out. After one complete, 3-1 to one, Norris over Creed on CapitalSportsOnline.com. Do you have a passion for athletics? Are you a former high school or college athlete looking for ways to stay involved? The Nebraska School Activities Association is asking you to grab a whistle. Officials are needed in every high school activity and are essential to the future of the game. Visit nsaahome.org for more information. Grab a whistle and contact the NSAA to get registered. Norris puts three runs across in the bottom of the first after giving up one run in the top, and they lead this one now 3-1. to one. Coming to the plate here, looks like Jason Ostrander. He'll be followed by, check that, Kyle Bauer to the plate. He will be followed here by Hunter Persing. My scorebook isn't filled out yet. That's why I'm bouncing around here. That one's low for a ball to Bauer. Bauer had an uh, error in the bottom of the first. At, uh, it was the second batter. Burnley reached on an error. He did come around and score. That one's fouled off there. So we have Bauer, Piercing, and uh, Feekin, I believe. That one's low for a ball. That one's in the dirt. For a ball, so should be, I believe, three and two. Is it a full count? So full count now. I fly ball, but I think, oh, overran it down there just a little bit. I don't know if it's misting out there, but uh, just. Just overran it. Couldn't make the catch. So still a full count here. Kyle Bauer, the third baseman, inside. So he walks him. Lead off batter and top of the first, bottom of the first, top of the second have all reached on a walk. So it brings up now uh, Hunter Persing. He's designated hitter for the Cardinals. He will be followed by Blake Feekin, the right fielder. 3-1 to one Norris, top of the second inning. That one's low for a ball. That one's going to foul off back behind us here, so one and one count now to Piercing. Creek got uh, two walks, a wild pitch, two sacrifices. All they could get out of that was one run. That one's high and inside. Two and one, I think he held up there. Rudder at first for Crete is Bauer. He reached on a walk. That one's in there for a strike. Thirty one Norris, top of the second. Crete at the plate. Runner at first, no outs. 
That was a little fly ball just foul and caught out there by Terrell Rose. So piercing pops to first. That's first out to for the uh, Creek Cardinals. So Blake Feekin to the plate now. Low. That was the ball, so brings up uh, just a one oh count now. Another ball. Little hit and run going there, but he sent it foul. And so Bauer will have to come back to first. One out here in the bottom of the second. Three to one Norris. Kind of a gloomy day, but the field does look pretty good. Morrison on the mound for the Titans. Fires outside. Another full count. Got it in there. Now it's a full count. Nice pitch. Caught that corner. Ryan Stinson on deck here for the Cardinals. And walked him. So two walks here in the uh, top of the second. One uh, pop out uh, in between those. But now runners at first and second for the Cardinals. Just one out. And to the plate is uh, Ryan Stinson. A lot of base runners in this game already. Nice pitch there from Morrison for the strike. From here we go to the top of the order. Garrett Skillet will come up. Lays down a bunt. There's nobody covering. Garrison hustles over there. They called him safe. Garrison stretched out to try and get that, and they, and they got the ball to him, but they said he beat the throw. Coach Collison going to go out and ask him about that. They got bases loaded, though, and on top of the order. Who am I missing here? Stinson's at first. There we go. So base is loaded now with one out. And top of the order, the catcher skillet to the plate. High for a ball. Guess I'm going to give him an infield hit on that. Good hustle. I mean, Garrison's only 5'6", and he was stretched out there pretty good. Coming back to the plate, though, and The, the ball bounced off the uh, back wall and got it back there. Argo got it into Morrison coming in, got the tag down, but they said he got in there. Everybody moves up one, Bauer scores, and so cuts the lead to one. Feekin and Stinson move up a base, base each. So now one run across, still just one out. Garrett Skillet at the plate for the Creek Cardinals. That one's low. So two runners in scoring position. I'm going to give him a walk, not a hit. Not a hit by pitch, I mean. 
Skull's Garrett Skillet reaches on his uh, second straight walk. And so bases are loaded again here for the Creek Cardinals. Norris leads at 3-2. to two. Just one out here in the top of the first inning. Coach Colson out there talking to... Uh, Grant and Zach Argo. So now coming to the plate here will be Carter Kent. Left-handed hitter. He got the sacrifice in the uh, top of the first. Just advanced the runner. That one's high for a ball. That one's going to go out to clears the left field foul fence, so one and one count. Nice snag by Garrison Gusson and doubles him up there. And so, again, just all those base runners, only one run comes across. And after one and a half, it's three to two, Norris over Crete on CapitalSportsOnline.com. The First State Bank Nebraska Titan card works the same as your current debit card and can be used at ATMs and retailers anywhere Visa is accepted. Each qualified Titan card purchase goes back to help out the Norris Titans. Already have a First State Bank debit card? Just tell your favorite First State Bank representative you want the new Titan card. Don't have a First State Bank checking account? Opening a new account has never been so easy or quick. Visit one of our branches to open an account today. Together, let's support our Titans. First State Bank, Nebraska, member FDIC. So good defensive play to uh, stop that uh, rally for the Creek Cardinals. Uh, a liner out towards second. Garrison Gustin snagged it and fired over to first to uh, double up the runners. So, again, Creek comes away with just one run after loading the bases on a couple of walks. Pass ball, and there was one hit in there. So now leading off here for the Norris Titans in the bottom of the second. I believe it's Will Reitz. Yep, it is. Will Reitz will come up. He will be followed by Zach Argo and then Reitz is a DH, so then Argo and then top of the order, Schultz. Bottom of the second, Norris three, Crete two. Class B boys baseball action. Will Reitz, uh, just a freshman here for the Titans. Shot to third. Nice scoop over there by Bauer and fires across and uh, makes the play. So Reitz grounds out to third for the first out here of the bottom of the uh, second inning. Zach Argo playing catcher today at the plate now. In there for a strike to Argo. Well, I got my scorebook finally filled out. Foul tips that one back, so 0 and 2. Save foul ball. It uh, 
foul that rolled out into out in front of the plate there. So two and two. Thursday, Norris will be at uh, Fall City, weather permitting. And it's swinging a miss and strikes him out. So Argo strikes out. That is the first strikeout for either team in this game. And so now top of the order, leadoff hitter Austin Schultz reached on a walk and scored. He stole a base and then scored on the double by Spencer Johnson. Two outs, bottom of the second, three to two, Norris. Outside and back to the fence for a ball. Just one hit for each team. That one also a ball. Johnson hit a double in the top or the bottom of the first. That was way high for a ball. And Ryan Stinson had a single in that uh, top of the second. 3 0 count now. That was about as high as the last one. Walks him on four. And so Austin Schultz, at first, his second walk of this game. Mason Burnley now reached on an error. It's an easy pop-up to the infield. And uh, Bauer and uh, McGinnis got crossed up on it in the dirt for a ball. Good save behind the plate there for Crete. Schultz at first, two outs. Bottom of the second. There he goes. He's going to get it. So two walks, two stolen bases. Skillet bobbled that one just a little bit out of his glove. Don't know. Don't think they would have got him anyway. So now Schultz in scoring position again with two outs. Burnley at the plate. That one's low. Phone's still hanging in there power-wise. That one's going to... And coming in to make the catch, it was kind of in between out there. Center fielder came in and made that catch, though. So nobody across uh, for the Titans in the bottom of the second. After two, three to two, Norris over Creed on CapitalSportsOnline.com. Whether you're getting started or looking to grow, small business owners dream big. At First State Bank Nebraska, we specialize in helping your business dreams become realities. Our experienced loan officers and customer-driven products help make us a leader in small business lending. Your vision for a more successful future starts today. Visit us online at 1FSB.com and click on the Dream Start Here link to read how we've helped business owners just like you. First State Bank Nebraska, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC. We move now to the top of the third inning. Norris leads this one three to two. They were able to get a runner aboard in the bottom of the second. They got to second on a stolen base, but they were not able to bring him in. <coughs> so McGinnis to lead it off here for Crete. He will be followed here by Gross Rohde, and then Ostrander. First one low for a ball. 
Got some uh, cappuccino to drink before this game to kind of loosen this throat up a little bit. But scoop, fire, throw. Had to uh, dig it out of the dirt, but couldn't get it. And uh, so getting over there to first base is Alec McGinnis. Schultz over there at, at playing shortstop. So runner at first now, fired over there. Alex, uh, Alex Guinness there, just a very good overall athlete for the Creek Cardinals. Throw him back again over there. Morrison on the mound. Like a change at catcher down there for the Titans. Batter calls timeout, steps out there. Up, well, we got him caught in between the uh, base paths there. And they got him. So good play down there. Caught uh, caught stealing for McGinnis. Laying the tag out there was Garrison Gustin. So that's now the first out here of the top of the third inning for Creek. Trying to get Gross Rody Zane Gross Rody. Didn't get a chance to write down his first name in my scorebook. Flew out to center field his first time up. One out now here in the top of the third, three to two, Norris. Umpire going and talk to Coach Collison. Don't know what they're talking about there. Everyone's speculating. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Uh, didn't see anything happen. Looks like maybe pitch count. Well, I still don't know what's going on. Nate Welker in behind the plate now. And uh, Gross Rody headed down to first, so. So now batting here will be uh, Jason Ostrander. Jaden Ostrander. Welker behind the plate makes the play. Kai pop up behind the play and Welker makes the out. So Ostron Strander pops out to Welker. So now two outs. <laughs> McGinnis uh, beat out a, a single and then was caught stealing. And uh, one pitch, uh, one out there. How was that out? Oh, picked off at first. Ostrander gets picked off. Check that. Gross road he got. I'm so confused. <laughs> we go now, though, to the bottom of the third. Titans still lead at 3-2 to two on CapitalSportsOnline.com. <laughs> You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better.
say thank you to these members of the Capital Sports Online Prep Club. Best of luck to all Titan athletes from all the Moser Well Company families. Moser Well Company, a family business serving the area for over 100 years. Visit their website at www.moserwell.com. Thanks to Penology Tech Solutions for sponsoring Norris Titan Broadcast. For technology solutions for your home or business, check out Penology Tech Solutions at www.penologytech.com. Please support these businesses who support Titan Sports. Bottom of the third now, Terrell Rose leads it off for the Titans. He'll be followed by Spencer Johnson and Grant Albers. Three to two, Norris. That one's high to Rose. That one's outside. The two uh, two runners picked off. The Titans picked off two runners. It, and that one's inside. And walks him. Terrell Rose again reaching on a walk his second time. He did score in the first. So now Sp- Spencer Johnson to the plate for the Norris Titans. Three to two Norris over Crete. Steinoff still on the mound. Now they're going to try and pick some people off. Getting back in there was Terrell Rose. Thursday at Fall City. New field down there. For Falls City. Squaring the bunt now here is uh, Johnson. Lays down a nice bunt, and he's going to beat it out, I think. And he does, not even a play. Steinoff, I think, was half thinking it was going to roll foul, half thinking he should make the play. It didn't do either. And so now Rose is at second. Spencer Johnson reaches on the bunt. And now Grant Albers to the plate for the Titans. Three to two Norris, bottom of the third. We're in Hickman. Buchanan Field. Shot, Guinness scoops it and just lobs it over to, uh, to third to force Rose. So Fielder's choice there for Grant Albers. And uh, Rose uh, is the victim of that fielder's choice. So that's the first out. Now runners at first and second. And Colton Meyer to the plate. That one's low for a ball. Colton had a sacrifice in that uh, first inning. First three, Titan hitters scored in the top or the bottom of the first. That one's outside for a ball. Foul tip. It went to the fence, but it was foul tip, so runners had to stay. Spencer Johnson at second, Grant Albers at first. One out, bottom of the third. Is the hit is going to hit the gap. Coming over on it, make a nice catch out there. Out in center field. Creed, he's had a couple of nice ones out there. That was uh, Ostrander. So Meyer flies out to center. There's now two outs here in the bottom of the third. And Garrison Gustin to the plate for the Titans. In the dirt, but a nice scoop there by Skillet. Ball one to Garrison Gustin. Should he reach? Will Reitz is on deck. The DH for Morrison. 
That one's outside. 2-0 and now. Johnson at second. Albers at first. Skillet goes out and talks to his pitcher, Steinoff. 3-3. Three and three. Creek Cardinals, 6-3. Uh, and three. Norris Titans. Low and away. 3-0 count now to Garrison Gustin. Runners at first and second, 3-0. And walked him. That was high enough for a walk, so now base is loaded here for the Titans. And uh, Will Reitz to the plate, designated hitter. Two outs. Crete's had a lot of base runners, but only two runs. That one's in the dirt. Good scoop there by Skillet to keep it out in front of him. A one here to Reitz. Should Reitz... Get aboard, it will be Zach Argo in the top of the lineup for the Titans. High and inside, 2-0. No place to put him. Also inside, 3-0 and now to, to uh, Will Reitz. So... Going to take a look at a couple of them here. That one's in there for a strike right down the middle to Reitz. So walks a run. uh, uh, Hit some green out there. Might be a couple of runs. And walked him. So walks in a run. Maybe a little high to take, but uh, he takes the walk. And so now four to two. Rose, or check that. Rose was... uh, Put out on the fielder's choice. Johnson scores. Albers to third. Gustin to second. Will Reitz at first. And now Zach Argo to the plate. Nate Welker, Nate Welker. Uh, Nate Welker came in here for uh, El Argo. So Welker to the plate now. A base is loaded. Coach uh, Freese out there. Those are going to make a change or what? Thursday, uh, Norris at Falls City. And uh, and get the logistics worked out. I will be broadcasting that game. I'll have to look at the rest of the schedule here. Just... Monday is the home game against Blair and then the tournament. And then the Eastern Midlands Tournament. So so the next two games, Thursday from Fall City, Monday here against Blair, and then the Eastern Midlands Conference Tournament. Check with the uh, Norris uh, website or my website. We'll let you know the locations. High for ball one to Welker. His first at bat. Swinging a miss there, just a little foul tip. So it's uh, two and one. Good eye there, inside, two one count. There's two outs, bases loaded, one run across. The shot to third, uh, bobbled it, but picked it up and stepped on third. So Welker of five unassisted there to end the inning. But one run does come across here for the Titans. It's now 4-2, to two, Norris over Creed on CapitalSportsOnline.com. You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better.
First State Bank Nebraska offers great features with its first-rate checking account, a perfect blend of convenience and value. By simply meeting certain monthly requirements, including online banking, you can receive competitive interest rates and free foreign fees at nationwide ATMs. No worries with this account because there are no minimum balances or monthly service charges, unlimited check writing, free online banking, electronic statements, bill pay, and Visa debit cards. Learn more at 1FSB.com. Stop by any of our 14 locations to open a first-rate checking account today. First State Bank Nebraska, member FDIC. Top of the fourth inning now here from Hickman. And the Norris Titans lead this one 4-2. to two. Coming to the plate here for the Cardinals will be Kyle Bauer, Hunter uh, Piercing, and Blake Feekin. I'll say thanks to the sponsors of Norris Titan broadcast for State Bank. Nebraska is the primary sponsor. Their third year of sponsoring these broadcasts. Next time you're in one of their branches, tell them thanks for uh, helping to bring these to you. First pitch is swing and a miss to Kyle Bauer for strike one. Is that right? Drew my line in the wrong place here. O two 2 right off the bat here. Morrison on the mound for the Titans. Just outside, so two and one. Piercing and Feekin to follow. One in the first, one in the second for Crete. Oh, hit him. So a hit by pitch here now for the uh, for Bauer. So he reaches. Leadoff hitter in each inning for Crete has reached. Caught the outside corner there for a strike to piercing. Fired over to first. Almost got away from a good snag out there by Terrell Rose. Titans picked off two runners in that uh, third inning. And then a high pop-up behind the plate, three up, three down. Trying to frame it there was Welker, but it's going to call it a ball. Oh. Wow. I don't know how he got out of the way of that. I was surprised to see it in Welker's mitt. Oh, those white helmets. Oh, well, glad he wasn't hit. Slaps that one down to uh, Gus, and Gus and scoops, fires it over, gets the out. So Pearson grounds a second, but ba- uh, Bauer does advance. And that's first out now. Blake Feekin here for the Creek Cardinals. Popped uh, just foul, foul tip over there to. Uh, now he walked his first time up. He's in there for a strike. So Bauer is at second now, one out. Feekin to the plate for the Creek Cardinals. Four to two, Norris leads it. That one uh, got through there to the fence, so advancing there now will be Bauer on the, uh, I'm going to guess, pass ball on that one. So Bauer advances to third. Also in the dirt scoop, though, by Welker. One out top of the fourth. Norris four, Crete two. Uh, 
That one caught the corner for a strike. Nice pitch by Morrison. Fouls that one off. I'll tip. I got you covered. <laughs> Top of the fourth. That one didn't bite. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm full count. Full count now to Feek and runner at third, one out. Top of the fourth. And low and away for a ball. So now runners at the corners for the Cardinals. Just one out. Both runners via the walk. And then now Ryan Stinson to the plate. He has the one of just two hits that the Cardinals have in this game. He did not score off of his hit and... Uh, Alec McGinnis had a single to lead off the third, but then it was picked off. It was a swing and a miss. Strike one to Stinson. So Bauer is at third, uh, hit by a pitch, and then on a pass ball, um, he advanced to second on the ground out by piercing. I was in the dirt. Nice scoop, but uh, got away, but he got back on it. That does, though, advance... Feek in two seconds, so now second and third with just one out. Last time I was here, everyone was wearing shorts, and now everyone's bundled up. 50 degrees when I came through town. That one's high for a ball. Stinson at the plate, one out, top of the order, Skillet on deck. Four to two, Titans with the lead. Fouled that one back. Morrison on the mound here for the Titans. He's walked a few, but... That one's inside. It's another full count here now. Stinson with the full count. Same place as that last one. Uh, Going to call it a ball. So now base is loaded. For Crete. And top of the order, Garrett Skillet. He's walked twice. And going to make a pitching change here. Going to uh, go away while they uh, uh, change pitchers here. Norris leads this one 4-2 to two in the top of the fourth. We'll be right back on CapitalSportsOnline.com. Say thank you to these members of the Capital Sports Online Prep Club. Best of luck to all Titan athletes from all the Moser Well Company families. Moser Well Company, a family business serving the area for over 100 years. Visit their website at www.moserwell.com. The law office of Jeremy T. Parsley supports the Norris Titans in all their athletic endeavors. If you have a legal question and don't know who to ask, check out Jeremy's blog at www.jeremyparsley.com. Please support these businesses who support Titan Sports. Pitching change here for the Norris Titans. Keith Price coming in to pitch here. 
pitched a great game uh, the last time that I was here. I believe just two hits. He won that game against Douglas County West 8-0. to uh, There were just two base runners, and neither one of them got past first base. So looks like there was one hit in there. So he comes in now uh, in relief of Grant Morrison. Morrison goes out to left. Yep, looks like my battery's about to run out. High and inside there to Skillet. Bases are loaded here for Crete in the top of the fourth. One out. Shot down to third and got away from him. And so two runs are going to come in here for the Cardinals. Just inside the base down there at third. And so Skillet uh, has a a single there. Stinson ends up at second. Bauer and Fee can both score. So they tie it up now here at four. In the top of the fourth, still just one out. Stinson goes to second and uh, Skillet at first now. And at the plate, Carter Kent, first baseman for the Cardinals. He had a sacrifice and ground out to second. His two at bats. And there's that one's going to drop in for a hit. Uh, But they're going to hold the runners there. So Kent gets a hit. So now it's, uh, again, the bases loaded here. We're tied at four in the top of the fourth. Just one out for Crete. That one just inside the third base bag goes foul, so strike one there to uh, McGinnis. Check that. Yep, McGinnis. Kind of a looping curve, but high for a ball. One and one count. Two runs across here, bases loaded. Just outside. They're not getting that call here today. Two and one. That one also fouled just down that line, getting around on those and taking them down the line, but both of those have been foul. Swing and a miss there, so big strike out there. For Keith Price, McGinnis strikes out, now two outs, so they could get out of this inning. Grounder to any base. At the plate here now is uh, Zane gross Rody. There's that strike in there from Price, so strike one. Base is loaded for the Cardinals. Top of the four of two runs in. That one's outside for a ball. Trying to keep my internet going here. Swing and a miss. 
big strike there for Keith Price. So again, a chance to get out of this. They can get this last out. They've had bases loaded all the way through, just two runs across. Grains that one too short. Scoop and gets them. So they do get out of that inning with just two two runs. Had bases loaded through most of that inning. So after three and a half, we're tied at four on CapitalSportsOnline.com. You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better. First State Bank Nebraska has provided a century of service to our communities and customers and has been recognized by the Small Business Administration as Nebraska's 2012 Rural Lender of the Year. First State Bank Nebraska takes pride in getting to know you on a first-name basis. As a bank, First State Bank Nebraska strives to provide the latest banking technology while delivering exceptional customer service. We are proud of our steady growth, including the expansion of our newest loan production office in Beatrice. First State Bank Nebraska Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Move now here to the uh, bottom of the Fourth inning, tied now at four. The uh, Cardinals said uh, they sent nine ba- or eight batters to the plate in that inning, but they left the bases loaded and got just two runs out of that. It did tie it up, but uh, checking my uh, internet here. So now for the Titans coming to the plate. I think we're at the top here of the lineup. So Austin Schultz to lead it off now. Mason Burnley and Terrell Rose here for the Titans in the bottom of the fourth. We're tied at four. Two and one count here now to Schultz. Swing and a miss there. So it's uh, Train coming across there. I believe it's full count now to Schultz. There's a shot to short. McGinnis scoops it. Kind of laid him back a little bit. They're going to say they got him. And so Schultz uh, grounds out to shortstop for the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Mason Burnley, Terrell Rose now for the check that. Keith Price coming in to bat now. I think I have lost my internet. But that one in the dirt and back to the fence. A 
But again, I am still uh, still recording here, so I'll get this uh, uploaded when I get home. Four to four, bottom of the fourth. One out here, and Keith Price to the plate here for the Titans. That one's in there for a strike. Did he walk or hit by a pitch? So Price reaches on a walk, and uh, so now runner at first, Terrell Rose to the plate for the Titans. Bottom of fourth, tied at four between the Norris Titans and the Creek Cardinals. Oh, it was still almost caught him, but he hustled down there. It was in the dirt, and he came up firing there, did skill it. But stolen base there for Keith Price. So now runner in scoring position for Terrell Rose. Now the uh, pinch runner coming in here, Cade Kohout. Kohout. Cade Kohout, a freshman, coming in to run here for uh, Keith Price. Keith came in to pitch in the uh, top of the fourth. Now Terrell Rose at the plate. So runner in scoring position now. That one uh, gets all the way to the fence. It was a low inside pitch. And uh, so Kohota advances now to third. Still just one out here. Terrell Rose at the plate. Spencer Johnson on deck. There's the pitch high and outside to Rose. Just one out here in the bottom of the fourth. That one was in there for a strike to Rose. Big run out there at third base. That one's inside, and Rose walks again. That's uh, three walks in three at-bats here for Terrell Rose. Got uh, taken out on a fielder's choice. He did score the third run of that uh, First inning, it's now runners at the corners, just one out. And Spencer Johnson to the plate here for the Titans. Foul tip, goes back to the fence, but he foul tipped it, so strike one. Runners have to stay. So it looks like there is going to be a JV game. In the dirt, but nice scoop there by Skillet. Keep it in front of him. Then he almost threw it away, throwing it back to the pitcher. Not a lot of hits in this game. A lot of base runners. Right back up the uh, pitcher's mound. Goes uh, over second base into center field. Very aggressive run in there. And they got him there at uh, Rose gets uh, picked off there at third. One run does come across. And now out at uh, second base is Spencer Johnson. So Cohote scores. Rose gets uh, thrown out at third. Nice throw by the center fielder there to get him off there at uh, third. So now coming to the plate, looks like we're going to be another pitching change. So we're going to take a quick break here. It's now 5-4. to four. We're in the bottom of the four of two outs. Norris with the lead on CapitalSportsOnline.com. You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better.
Capital Sports Online is now in its fifth year of covering Norris Titan Athletics. After careful consideration and with the broadcast totals nearing 500 broadcasts, I made a decision a year ago that 2014-2015 would be my final year of broadcasting. I share that decision with my family and friends and also told the athletic director at Norris High School that this season would be my final season. The overall final broadcast will be sometime in May, but until that final broadcast, keep logging on to Capital Sports Online and listen to these great Norris athletes compete at a high level throughout this school year. Thank you for listening, and go Titans! Zane Gross Rody coming in to pitch now here for the Creek Cardinals. Norris has taken the lead back. Um, flip my book over here. Uh, hit up the middle there. Let's see. Spencer Johnson drove in a uh, cohoot who was running for Keith Price, but then uh, Terrell Rose uh, got thrown out at third, uh, trying to extend that. And so now two outs. I don't know, again, I don't know how, but I do still have internet here. I didn't bring my power cord from my phone, so, which is what I use for these internets, but I am recording, so. Okay, here we go now. Runner at second, and ball gets away, and he's hustling down there. That's uh, Spencer Johnson. So get another chance here for the Titans uh, to pick up uh, one more run. One run is across. Grant Albers at the plate. He's grounded to third and uh, hit into a fielder's choice. That one catches that corner. That one gets to the fence. We're going to send him coming in to score here. And in there, sliding in and safe there is Spencer Johnson. So, wild pitch there gets uh, Johnson in for a big run. It's now 6-4. to four. Base is now empty. And Grant Albers at the plate for the Titans. He gave up two. The Titans did in the top of the fourth. But now they've uh, gotten those back and have the two-run lead. Thursday will be at Fall City. That one's in their first strike. Uh, Friday at uh, UTAN. What's that team? Platte Valley. That one's in the dirt. And then Monday Blair here. And then the Eastern Midlands Conference Tournament. I believe those seedings will be out tomorrow. Yep. So check the Norris website. I'll get them on my website when I when I get that information. Fly ball out to deep center. We're going back and making the catch here. So Grant Albers flies out, but two runs do come across for the Titans in the bottom of the fourth inning. Move now to the top of the fifth. You listen to Norris Titan Baseball on CapitalSportsOnline.com. The First State Bank Nebraska Titan Card works the same as your current debit card and can be used at ATMs and retailers anywhere Visa is accepted. Each qualified Titan Card purchase goes back to help out the Norris Titans. Already have a First State Bank debit card? Just tell your favorite First State Bank representative you want the new Titan Card. Don't have a First State Bank checking account? Opening a new account has never been so easy or quick. Visit one of our branches to open an account today. Together, let's support our Titans. First State Bank, Nebraska, member FDIC.
top of the fifth now. The Titans lead this one 6-4. to four. Leading it off for the Creek Cardinals now. Let's see here. Is that a new... Ostrander to the plate here now. He'll be followed by Kyle Bauer and Hunter Piercing for the Cardinals. They picked up two in the top of the fourth, but the Titans answered. That one's fouled away for a strike to Ostrander. That one... uh, was the ball. Keith Price on the mound came in in relief of Grant Morrison. That one catch catched, caught the corner, strike two. My grandson said that he was doing play by play of some street football. Grandpa catched it. That one's outside for a ball. Now full count. Up oh, two and two. Ostrander, then Bauer, just out of the reach there of uh, Grant Albers. Schultz couldn't uh, catch up to it, so uh, Ostrander reaches first. And so now Kyle Bauer for the Cardinals. Bauer's walked twice, scored twice. We'll check that a walk and a hit by pitch. But he has scored two of the f- four runs for Crete. Top of the fifth inning. That one's in the dirt, gets away from him, and so heading down now to, to second is Ostrander. So now runner at second here. No outs, top of the fifth. Stepping out there is Bauer, third baseman for the Cardinals. Foul down the uh, left field line. Spin just... Kind of an odd game, I believe, just three hits for for Crete inside for a ball. And they had a hit in the second, hit in the third. Fourth and fifth, so four hits. That one's in there for a strike to Bauer. Been a lot of walks, hit by pitches, wild pitches. Scooped there nicely by Albers, fires over. Gonna say they got him. It's a nice stretch uh, there by Terrell Rose. Albers fired across there. He had kind of had him moving backwards. But he got some juice on it and uh, fires over there for the out. They change it? Hoping they forget. <laughs> yep, he was out. If this was a TV game, they'd be saying he was getting a little uh, camera time. So now one out, runner at second, and piercing to the plate. Check that, it's... Uh, Batting now is um, the pitcher. 
Steinoff. Piercing was uh, DHing for Steinoff, and now Steinoff's going to come in and uh, bat. Six to four, Norris over Crete. And a runner at second, one out. Top of the fifth. There's a shot out to left field and it's gonna drop in there. But they're gonna the runner does advance to third. That was a deep uh, deep shot down there. I believe Morrison out there and left. So now runners at the corners for Crete. That was Steinoff that got that hit. And uh, Feekin now. Blake Feekin at the plate. He has walked twice, scored once, stranded at third once. All the walks and uh, all the runs have been either started by a walk or a hit by pitch. Nice pitch in their first strike by Keith Price. So a chance to get out of it with the double play. Good scoop behind a plate there. It's a one and one count now to Fekin. Coach Collison going out to talk to Price now. Going to make a change here. Coming in to pitch, uh, Kobe Spicer going to be coming in. So we're going to take a quick break. We have uh, one out here in the top of the fifth. Crete has runners at the corners, but trail this one six to four. We'll be right back on CapitalSportsOnline.com. Say thank you to these members of the Capital Sports Online Prep Club. Penology Tech Solutions. For technology solutions for your home or business, check out Penology Tech Solutions at www.penologytech.com. Best of luck to all Titan athletes from all the Moser Well Company families. Moser Well Company, a family business serving the area for over 100 years. Visit their website at www.moserwell.com. Please support these businesses who support Titan Sports. Kobe Spicer in the pitch now for the Titans. He comes in to praise, pr- face Blake Feekin. Runners at the corners, one out here. We are in the top of the fifth. Norris leads this one six to four. Let's see if the umpire shows me what the count is here. Still getting a few warm-ups. So Thursday night, Norris is at Fall City. Friday at uh, UTAN for Platte Valley. Monday, Blair here. And then the Eastern Midlands Conference Tournament starts. Nice curveball there by Spicer. Still in his warm-ups. This considered an injury change. It's getting a lot of pitches. Well, we'll get the count here for you. Is there is a count on Feekin? Don't see it too often that you. Make a pitching change uh, in the middle of a batter, but two 
2 and 0. 2 and 0 count now to Fekin. In runners at the corners, one out, top of the fifth. 6 to 4 Norris over Crete. That one's in there for a strike. Steinoff is that first. He was a pitcher. He had been uh, hit four, and he came in to hit in that uh, this last at bat. Sent one out to left field. Um, held him to a single. But the Titans can get out of this with a double play. Kobe Spicer in on the mound in relief. Swing and a miss there and strikes him out. So big out there for Spicer for the second out. And now we're top of the order. No. Stinson, bottom of the order. See, they brought in the uh, the batter being DH4 came in and <laughs> these things, these DH has messed me up so much. It's so skeet. Oh, no, you have to do the innings. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was <laughs> high for a ball to... Stinson Stinson uh, has a hit and a walk in the game. Has not scored. But there are now two outs with the runners at the corners. Swing and a miss there. Nice pitch by Gobi Spicer. Call that a strike. Pitch from Spicer. It strikes him out. So good job there. Spicer comes in and and strikes out uh, the two batters he faced. And no runs come across for Creed in the top of the fifth. So we'll be back for the bottom. You're listening to Norris Titan Baseball on CapitalSportsOnline.com. You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better. Whether you're getting started or looking to grow, small business owners dream big. At First State Bank Nebraska, we specialize in helping your business dreams become realities. Our experienced loan officers and customer-driven products help make us a leader in small business lending. Your vision for a more successful future starts today. Visit us online at 1FSB.com and click on the Dream Start Here link to read how we've helped business owners just like you. First State Bank Nebraska, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC. Bottom of the fifth now in Titans lead this one six to four. Crete uh, threatened again, but Colby Spicer came in and struck out the last two batters uh, to hold them scoreless in the inning. Leading it off here for the Titans will be Colton Meyer. He'll be followed by Garrison Gustin and Will Reitz for the Titans. On the mound here, Zane gross Rody for the Creek Cardinals. So Meyer, Gustin, and Reitz. And then uh, Welker on top of the order. Three in the first, one in the third, two in the fourth for the Titans. Colton Meyer has, uh, had a sacrifice and flew out to uh, deep center. His two times up. Here's the pitch outside for a ball. Did he call that a strike? I 
Fan. That one's high for ball, 2-0. Six to four, Norris, bottom of the fifth. There it goes, clear out deep right field and clears the fence. Colton Meyer with the home run. I believe it's two now. Two on the season. Yep, that is his second home run uh, of the season. And a big run, so it puts the Titans up now by three, seven to four. And we are in the uh, bottom of the fifth. No outs. Now Garrison Gusson to the plate. Ground out and walked inside corner for a strike. Will Reitz on deck. So big, big uh, run there. And a towering home run. That one's outside for a ball. Third, just the third home run of the season for the Titans. Got the outside corner there for a strike to Gustin. Tried to slap that one down the uh, third baseline, but it went foul. So one and two. To Gus and Will Reitz on deck. Don't know what that one was. <laughs> it went way outside. I think maybe it didn't snap for him. Slurple, yeah. Inside to be a full count now. Well, even the umpire does show the count, he's very deliberate about it. That one's in the dirt. And uh, Garrison Gustin reaches on a walk. So now a runner at first, one run across, no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Will reach to the plate now for the Norris Titans. Just a freshman. Garrison Gusson at first, just a sophomore for the Titans. That one went over everybody's head all the way to the backstop, and Gustin heads down to second. 1 0 count now on Will Reitz. So one run across on the, excuse me, in the home run by Colton Meyer. Now runner at second, no outs. High fly ball. It's going to clear the fence back here, I think, and it does. Skill it gives chase, but uh, can't get to it. Over the fence and one and one count to Reitz. Welker on deck for the Titans. 7-4 to four, Norris, bottom of the fifth. That one's inside. Garrison at second. Garrison Gustin. That one caught the inside corner for a strike. a high fly ball make the catch out there at second base for that first out I believe was uh, Stinson 
So that's the first out here of the bottom of the fifth inning. Colt Meyer to the plate now, or check that. Nate Welker to the plate for the Titans. Garrison Gustin at second base. One run across on the Colt Meyer home run. That's not... More conversation here with uh, the coaches. He's been in there since the second inning. Second or third. Second, I think. Garrison Gustin at second. One out. That one's high to Welker. Liner there. McGinnis scoops, fires over to first, and makes the out. Gustin does advance to third. Welker, though, grounds uh, to McGinnis. So now there's two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. One run across, and now to the plate, leadoff hitter Austin Schultz. Walked twice, scored once. Grounded to shortstop uh, in the fourth. So chance to get one more run here. Titans lead it by three. Got the... uh, Got the call there for a strike. And the dirt uh, bounces away, but uh, good coverage coming in there by the pitcher... Gross roadie. So it's a one and one count here to Schultz. That's going to be a high fly ball. It's going to stay in play and making the catch out there from first base. So that's the third out of the inning. Schultz pops out to th- to first. One run does come across, so for the Titans on the uh, leadoff home run by Colton Meyer. Move down to the top of the sixth inning. It is 7-4 Norris over Creed on CapitalSportsOnline.com Say thank you to these members of the Capital Sports Online Prep Club. The Law Office of Jeremy T. Parsley supports the Norris Titans in all their athletic endeavors. If you have a legal question and don't know who to ask, check out Jeremy's blog at www.jeremyparsley.com. Best of luck to all Titan athletes from all the Moser Well Company families. Moser Well Company, a family business serving the area for over 100 years. Visit their website at www.moserwell.com. Please support these businesses who support Titan sports. Moved now to the top of the sixth inning. Titans picked up one more run on the Colton Meyer home run. Now lead this one 7-4. to four. And top of the order, though, here for the Creek Cardinals, Garrett Skillett, Carter Kent, and then Alec McGinnis for the Titans, or for the Cardinals. Shane Gross-Rody started out in left field. He's now pitching. On the mound for the Titans, Colt Meyer came in here in the bottom of the fifth. They had runners at the corners with just one out, but struck out to Feekin and Stinson to allow no runs across. One in the first, one in the second, two in the fourth for Crete. So Skillet to lead it off now for the Creek Cardinals. He does have one hit. He's walked twice, scored once. 
as a single. They're in the uh, top of the fourth. Colt Meyer on in relief, third Norris pitcher. And right away there's a single that drops in over the shortstop, so Skillet reaches on the single, his second hit of the game. He's been on base three times. And so now Carter Kent for the Creek Cardinals. We're in Hickman, Buchanan Field. A cool night. It was uh, 50 when I got to town about 3.30 or so. Not sure what it is now. That one catches the corner first strike to Kent. Left-handed hitter. Can't skill it is at first. They fire over there. Uh, not in time, though, as he gets back. The Titans did pick off two runners in the third. Basically ended up perfect inning. That one catches the inside corner for a strike. Pretty big lead over there for Skillet. Kobe Spicer on the mound for the Titans. That one's going to go out of play back behind us here. So the count stays at 0-2. Alec McGinnis on deck and Zane gross Rody. Spicer's pitch. Just slapped it out there. Chance to turn two. Garrison makes the turn and does. Nice play on the double play there. So nice play out there. So that will be the uh, 6-4-3. Double plays. So now two outs. And Alec McGinnis here for the... Creek Cardinals. Fouls that one back for a strike. Strike one to McGinnis. McGinnis uh, walked. He does have a single, but then was picked off and struck out his last time up. Got another strike. Nice pitch in there by Spicer. So 0-2 now with two outs. In the top of the sixth, Titans lead at seven to four. That one's outside for a ball. So one and two count now. Spicer came in and struck out the two batters he faced in the top of the fifth. And just punched him out there for his third strikeout in uh, six, five batters. Struck out three of them. So we go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. Titans lead this one seven to four on CapitalSportsOnline.com. Say thank you to these members of the Capital Sports Online Prep Club. Thanks to Penology Tech Solutions for sponsoring Norris Titan Broadcast. For technology solutions for your home or business, check out Penology Tech Solutions at www.penologytech.com. The Law Office of Jeremy T. Parsley supports the Norris Titans in all their athletic endeavors. If you have a legal question and don't know who to ask, check out Jeremy's blog at www.jeremyparsley.com. Com. Please support these businesses who support Titan Sports.
bottom of the six now. The uh, Titans coming to the plate. Leading it off here now is we have a new new batter in there. So number two. Oh, Spicer going to come in and bat. Came in to a pitch, so now he will lead this uh, inning off as the hitter. He's pitched pretty well here. Struck out three in the last two innings. He will be followed by Terrell Rose and Spencer Johnson. Seven to four, Norris. That was a nice curveball dropped in there for a strike. Strike one there to Spicer. And that one's uh, outside for a ball, one and one count. Again, Thursday night at Fall City. From that neck of the woods, and kind of anxious to see that field down there. It's a turf field. I think just the infield is all turf. The rest just grass. Nice, uh, nice strike there, and he's gonna gonna beat it there. Went overly hustling down there, but the throw uh, kind of went off his glove. So technically, technically a strikeout, but then uh, he reaches and coming in to run here now. Again is uh, the co or Marcus Tim. He's going to come in and run for Spicer. Spicer pitching here. So now Terrell Rose to the plate for the Titans. Rose has walked three times. So runner at first now here in the bottom of the six. No outs. Swing and a miss there by Rose. So the 0 1, he squared the bump, but it went outside, so 1 and 1 count. Marcus Tim, a sophomore, out there running for Kobe Spicer. That one was a little bit high for a ball, so 2 and 1. Spencer Johnson on deck for the Titans. You'll be followed by Grand Albers. 7-4. High sky and fly ball. Second baseman lines up underneath it and does make the out. So that's first out here. High fly ball to the infield. So now Spencer Johnson to the plate. Runner at first. Now one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Norris leads it by three. High over his head for a ball. One zero now here to... Johnson. Just under the third baseman's glove down there and for hit. Then it gets through the left fielder and they're going to send him on home. Tim's going to score from first and uh, he slides and scores. So another run across here for the Titans. Now a four run lead, eight to four. And that run was unearned because uh, Spicer actually struck out, but then the 
catch and drop the ball, and, and Spicer beat the throw. Tim came in to run for him. So now Johnson out there at uh, second base, just one out, one run across. That one's right back to the pitcher. Throws it in the dirt and bounces it to the fence. So uh, another run here is going to score here for the Titans. It was one of those just almost too easy. So that run comes across Spencer Johnson scores. He scored three runs in this game now. So an easy grounder put out. And he turned and looked the the runner back. He looked Tim back to third, turned to throw to first, and wasn't even close. So Albers is at second. Colton Meyer to the plate. He homered his last time up. That one's way high. Ball one to Colton Meyer. Garrison Gustin on deck for the Titans. It's now nine to four, a five run lead here for Norris. It's got under that one. McGinnis out there makes the catch. Out behind second base, so now two outs here. Meyer flies out high, pop up there. So now Garrison Gustin here to the plate. Two outs, two runs across. Grant Albers at second. Gustin... uh, Grounded to second his first time up and walked his last two times up, and there's a pitch high and away for a ball to Garrison Gustin. Nine to four now. Titans have scored two. That one's outside. Titans have given up a lot of uh, hit batters and walks, but they were always able to come back and, and hold the damage to a minimum. Walked them on four pitches. Gustin now at first. So now first and second for the Titans. And Will reach to the plate now for Norris. He uh, grounded to third, walked, and uh, popped to second in his three times up. Two outs now, runners at first and second, though, for the Titans. High and inside for a ball. Another inside pitch up in his eyes. 2-0 count now. Nate Welker on deck should reach. reach. Freeze coming out to talk to his pitcher. I say thanks to the sponsors of these broadcasts. First State Bank, Nebraska, uh, the primary sponsor for all, for all of these Norris Titan broadcasts. And this is their third year of sponsoring. Also, um, Capital Sports Online Prep Club members, the law offices of Jeremy T. Parsley, uh, Ozer Well Company, and Penology Tech Solutions, all helping to sponsor these broadcasts. So they're going to leave them in there now, and it's a 2-0 count here to Reitz, and that one hit him. So uh, base is loaded now, and Welker comes to the plate. It's one of those games where you're well, now he's going to have to make a change. So we're going to take a break here. Uh, change a uh, batting or pitching change here for Crete. So we'll be right back. Titans lead it now by five, five to four. 
in the bottom of the sixth inning on CapitalSportsOnline.com. You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better. First State Bank Nebraska offers great features with its first-rate checking account, a perfect blend of convenience and value. By simply meeting certain monthly requirements, including online banking, you can receive competitive interest rates and free foreign fees at nationwide ATMs. No worries with this account because there are no minimum balances or monthly service charges, unlimited check writing, free online banking, electronic statements, bill pay, and Visa debit cards. Learn more at 1FSB.com. Stop by any of our 14 locations to open a first-rate checking account today. First State Bank, Nebraska, member FDIC. Pitching now for the uh, Creek Cardinals. I think he's been in. Yeah, Ostrander is now going to pitch. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Titans have the bases loaded. Will Reitz at first, Garrison Gustin at second, and Grant Albers at third. Two outs in Nate Welker to the plate. Came in and batted. Uh, in the third, ground to ground to third and ground to shortstop. That one goes foul, strike one here to Welker. So this is the eighth batter. That one's in the dirt. So Ostrander on the mound now for the Cardinals. There's a shot out to left field. Is that one going to clear? It does. It's a grand slam for Nate Welker. A grand slam, Nate Welker. What a blast there. And so now it is 13-4. to four. I know that's his first home run of the season. And, that, and what a big one, a grand slam for Nate Welker. Grand slam. Something you don't, you don't see a lot of home runs, but to, for it to be a grand slam just makes it that much greater. And there's another base hit in Putting that one across out there was Schultz. He's the ninth batter of the inning. And uh, this came with two outs. How did he get all the way to third? I was right. Oh. So all the way over to third there, I was just marking my book all these runs, and then all of a sudden Schultz is at third. It's so now uh, Kobe Spicer to the plate. He uh, he actually struck out, but the catcher missed the ball, and then uh, the throw down to first was uh, not a good one. So if he can beat it out. Throw it in the dirt, error. Oh, they got him, so we, we are going to have to go three more outs. If that run could have scored, it would have been uh, the 10 run rule. But we move now to the top of the seventh inning. The Titans uh, lead it now 13 to 4 on CapitalSportsOnline.com. You're listening to CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's none better.
First State Bank Nebraska has provided a century of service to our communities and customers and has been recognized by the Small Business Administration as Nebraska's 2012 Rural Lender of the Year. First State Bank Nebraska takes pride in getting to know you on a first-name basis. As a bank, First State Bank Nebraska strives to provide the latest banking technology while delivering exceptional customer service. We are proud of our steady growth, including the expansion of our newest loan production office in Beatrice. First State Bank Nebraska Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Okay, top of the seventh now. Norris has opened up a nine-point lead and actually had a runner at third, which... uh, could have uh, made the 10-run uh, rule, but uh, uh, ground out into that inning. So leading off here now for the Creek Cardinals in the uh, top of seventh, Zane Gross Point. He is, uh, was pitching. Uh, he'll be followed by Ostrander and then Bauer for the Cardinals. Big blast in that uh, Bottom of the sixth, the Grand Slam by Nate Welker. Kobe Spicer on the mound. He's the uh, third Norris pitcher and has done pretty well. He struck out, um, I think, three of the five. I think he faced just five. So Gross Rody now here. That one's in there for a strike. Thursday night at Fall City. Friday at UTAN for Platte Valley. Monday here against Blair. And then the Eastern Midlands Conference Tournament. As of right now, all of those will be here on Capital Sports Online. Shot to third. Just underneath his glove over there of Albers. And that one ticks away, but they're going to get it in there. So a single there for a Gross Rody. So runner at first, no outs, and now Ostrander to the plate, who is now the pitcher of record. Kobe Spicer on the mound here for the Titans. 13 to 4. Titans with the lead. JV players getting warmed up out there. Up in his eyes for a ball. Ostrander, Bauer, and Piercing. And steps off again there, does Spicer. Two home runs in the uh, game for the Titans. There's a strike on the corner to Ostrander. Zane Gross Rody is at first base, lead it, let it off with a single. That one caught the corner for a strike. Another nice pitch there by Kobe Spicer. That one's going to go out of play off to the right. Nice catch made over there by one of the JV players warming up. Under a tree. So one and two count now here. No outs. Runner at first for the Cardinals. Ostrander at the plate. Oh, didn't get the call. Call. 
One and two. And a swing and a miss there for the strikeout. Fourth strikeout now for Spicer in this uh, game in relief. So that's the first out and uh, brings up Kyle Bauer. That one's in the dirt, but scooped nicely behind the plate again by Nate Welker. Inside, so 2-0 count. Zane gross Rody is at first. He opened this inning with a single. Ostrander struck out for the first out of the inning. And now Kyle Bauer at the plate. He'll be followed there by... Um, it was their pitcher, Steinoff, Spencer Steinoff, now playing third base. Two and one count to Bauer. And going to double him off, and he does, and that's going to do it. Nice play out there. And uh, a liner to the shortstop, and the runner was going, fired over there to first for the out. So your final score here is uh, thirteen to four. The uh, Titans win this one. I'll be back with some totals for you here in just a moment. You've been listening to Norris Titan Baseball on CapitalSportsOnline.com. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student-athletes in Nebraska are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Nebraska School Activities Association and the Nebraska State Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. North Titans uh, break this game open in the bottom of the six, scoring six runs. Four of those on the grand slam by Nate Welker and win this game 13 to four. Crete had scored first. They put uh, one run across in the top of the first, but then the Titans put three across. The Cardinals battle back with one in the second. And the Titans with one in the third. But then in the top of the fourth inning, uh, Crete put two runs across to tie it up at four. Uh, The Titans answered with two of their own in the fourth. Solo home run by Colton Meyer in the fifth. And then uh, six runs come across in the sixth inning for the Titans. Uh, again, four of those on the grand slam by Nate Welker. Titans win it 13-4. to four. They move to 7-3 and three on the season. Thursday night will be at Fall City, which you can hear right here on Capital Sports Online. Friday, Platte Valley, that will be in UTAN. And then uh, Monday here, home game against Blair. And then the Eastern Midlands Conference Tournament starts. So I want to thanks, uh, thank everyone for logging on. I kind of got a late start and then ran out of power in my phone. And I do still, though, have the recording. I'm going to get this taken care of. We'll get it uploaded to the uh, uh, for you to listen to. That's going to wrap it up. Titans win this one 13-4. to Been listening to Norris Titan Baseball on CapitalSportsOnline.com.